There are those who make bread every day and there are those who make audio systems every day. Right, Davide? Precisely, I do not engage in the process of making bread. In the previous video, we discussed multi-room systems and I will provide you with the link in the description. And today, instead, we wanted to delve more into the topic of control. That is, anyway, I have a system where I have many sources. So I have Spotify, I have a CD player, I have many other thousand things, and I have to control them. What are you doing, Davide? Give the customer one remote control for each source, like 20 remotes? Precisely. The challenge encountered when structuring multi-room systems is and has consistently been controlled. And this can be readily resolved by relying on an experienced professional in the field of expertise. What is the concept? In the prior session when we met, we had a discussion about the multi-room system and the types of speakers that are considered to be the best choice for use in a multi-room setup. In this case, we follow another case history that is similar to a home cinema system with multi-room audio and video. And obviously it has audio sources and video sources. The problem is actually the control. That is, how can I control the same things from different rooms? So let's say that it can be done quite easily and in a very clean way by setting up a central star system. That is to say all the wiring, speakers, televisions, as well as audio and video streams must be centralized and all arrive at a point that we will define as the technical room. Stated that I possess a valid system utility as I can reconfigure components in different ways, enabling me to centralize amplifiers, matrices, audio and video sources, sky decoders, and almost all audio sources. The only exception is the turntable, used for playing vinyl records. Once I have centralized everything, I am left with the question of what actions I can take with the system and how to utilize its full potential. I have the option to make a decision to place a controller inside the technical room and as a result it would be located within the rack. In essence, the controller is the black box of the house that will be responsible for managing the various elements that are not typically part of the system, that are not typically designed, built and engineered to coexist with each other. So what will I have in terms of functionality and control over these elements? I will possess a sky decoder, I will possess a video matrix, I will possess an audio matrix, I will possess an Apple TV, I will possess a player, Musicast, Sonos, or however many brands from where I will manage the music streaming. And at this point, what am I going to do? That the Apple TV should have its Bluetooth remote control, but the technical room is on the lower floors where we installed it. Sky Decoder has a remote control that can be IR or Bluetooth. Let's assume we can't do Bluetooth, so we must use IR. The streaming player possesses its own application and can solely be controlled through mobile devices utilizing its proprietary application. So we already noticed that the system will be extremely challenging to manage. So as you can see in the control application screenshots, what do you do? You choose a control brand and then you do a targeted programming to be able to control from the same application, a proprietary application in this case, but that is custom compiled. You do a programming in such a way that I can control different devices that normally have different control modes from the same device, that is my smartphone, my tablet, and from there, from the same user interface, I will be able to control devices that can communicate with the controller via network, Zigbee, Bluetooth, RF, IR, and serial. So any kind of product, regardless of whether it is through drivers or through compilation and programming, can be controlled by a single controller. Well, so I would say that we understood everything when we talk about RS-232, when we talk about R, when we talk about controller, let's go to Wikipedia and start writing to search for answers to these terms. Okay, actually, I apologize, but I reside within the matrix, so I encounter challenges in translating these compact terms. Anyway, for clarity, without you having to constantly search on Wikipedia for what I'm saying, 
We mean IR as infrared remote control, so the remote control of a typical TV or a typical Blu-ray player or whatever other device you may be using. We mean RS-232, the serial control, which is a professional communication protocol used to control devices that do not have an infrared port, so they are not equipped with a remote control. Then we have radio frequency, which is the frequency used by your simple gate remote control. We have Zigbee, which is the evolution of your simple gate remote control and is commonly used in home curtains. Many brands of both outdoor and indoor curtains use this protocol to control the motors. And then we have network control, which is nothing more than the evolution of RS-232 control. So the commands to the TV, player, or any other devices are sent via network cable. The same network cable that you connect to your smart TV to watch Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, and soon Disney Plus. This allows for seamless integration and control of various devices within your home. You will also utilize it to control it, turn it on, turn it off, change channels and so on. So this is a bit of an explanation, I apologize, but actually I live with it and as a result I encounter this problem. At this moment we are able to collect all of these remote controls, all of these items, all of these technologies, for example, within our phone and effectively manage all of our systems and devices. Exactly. Imagine that the controller is a blender where you insert all the remote controls. And from this blender comes out only one remote control. One control that, however, interacts with all the devices you have that you will insert and that one day will be upgraded within the system. Thanks, Davide. I hope my wife doesn't see this video because she has the kids and likes to watch series. You might never see them. More, you're exact. This is an exact problem. Until the next greeting, hello to all of you.